Hey there everybody, Gideon's Tactical here doing a review for you of a now in 2013 discontinued SOG Tsunami Tanto Blade with their tinny blacked out coating. That's what we're looking at here today. I'll give you some quick specs and we'll go ahead and jump on into this blade. We got an overall length of six and a half inches from hilt to tip. Made out of Aus 8 steel in Taiwan. Flat grind with an overall length of 10.9 inches, weight is 6.8 ounces, straight edge obviously. Comes with originally a nylon sheath, I actually got rid of that and made a custom sheath, we'll talk about that in a minute. Blade thickness is I believe about an eighth of an inch, it's 0.15, so right around an eighth of an inch thick. So those are the basic specs for you, Kraton handle. Let's go ahead and jump on into this thing. If you're looking for, if you like Tanto Design blades and you're looking for a, a knife with really good reach, really sharp, gr great penetrating power, this is an awesome knife for you. Now, like I said earlier, I've checked a couple different websites where I usually buy my knives from and I see that they are saying that this is discontinued, that I believe SOG is discontinuing the Tsunami and is no longer in production. Now, they're still pretty accessible, but if you're a Tanto fan and you've been kind of eyeing this, you need to pick it up quickly before they are extinct uh, and then you're only going to have options with the secondary market and their prices are only going to go up and up as time goes on. So going, going on to the blade here, I'm trying to feel it out. I believe it's flat. It's either hollow or a flat grind. I can't quite figure it out. Uh, it, either way, it's nice and sharp, wicked sharp out of the box. It even gives you a slight bit of belly. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Tanto blades. I know some people are just because of the lack of belly in these particular knives, but there is a slight sweep in the edge. Then you got this nice corner right here up to a very uh, elongated, some some Tantos you know, are very extreme and, and really kind of snub nose. This one has a very extremely long, drawn out piercer, which means it's going to penetrate better than say some other Tantos on the market. Go, and it has a relatively strong tip, so it's not you're not really worried about with some prying and stabbing that's going to break on you. Uh, it's definitely a piercer though, it's definitely designed to stab and pierce, but will you know, we'll slice relatively well. Um, in that type of format. You can get this in satin blade or the tinny blacked out finish. This tinny blacked out finish is good. Most of the finishes that SOG does is good. Uh, the OS 8 steel blade, I believe that SOG and Cold Steel do some of the best OS 8 steels. You know, it's made in Japan, assembled in Taiwan. The Rockwell Hardness 5758, and I've just found that they hold to an edge very well with most Cold Steel and SOG products. You know, um, very, very similar to majority of 1095 steels. It's right there in the same Rockwell hardness, has a lot of the same properties. And for overall use, you're going to get about the same amount of edge retention uh, in this OS 8 steel as you are out of a 1095 blade. This is uh, just not a high carbon steel blade uh, versus this is a stainless steel blade versus a high carbon 1095. Going on to the thickness, you know, you are going to be able to do some batoning if you did want to take this in the wilderness. This is not a wilderness blade, though. This is definitely a fighting knife. You got an awesome uh, thumb ramp, not really a thumb ramp, but jimping here. You can see there how aggressive it is. Look at how aggressive that jimping is right there, which is awesome. Designed really well. I really like that feature that they did that. I wish more straight edge knives like this would do that. I really like that a lot. It's very aggressive, going to bite your thumb really well if you are doing some, you know, slicing, whittling tasks, or if, you know, you're just getting in there and doing some stabbing or prying your thumb rests right there nice and easy so the th the overall design of a tanto blade is really nice with that six and a half inches as well you're going to get a lot of reach out of this particular knife going on to the hilt and kind of lock up how it feels in your hand in a thrusting stabbing format uh, this is the exact same hilt and handle construction that the sog northwest ranger has and that's really nice you know it's a little thin does have a nice big palm swell though got really nice kind of digging jimping you know so your hand kind of feels a little bit comfortable when it's riding up against there you're going to keep your hand from riding up against the blade but at the same time isn't crazy huge and you know awkward and big and you can easily get your thumb over the hilt which is what i really like so that if you did have to do some detailed work or whittling or carving you know that you can do that and you don't have a dual hilt you know rising up really high up here and then you're trying to reach over with your thumb and it's just awkward like a say like a normal k bar would be k bar utility knife so the lockup is great for you know traction stabbing you're not going to accidentally ride up on the blade tactical use it's great the craton handle feels really good you got really nice check 
checkering with the SOG logo. Fill, fills out your hand well. It is a little thin, so people with maybe extra large size glove hands may think that this is a little thin in the handle construction. I don't mind it at all. feels relatively comfortable, regardless of I'm holding it in a reverse grip or in just a standard grip. Either way, it's going to feel really good. That Kraton will wear out over time, though. You are going to start to, over, say, like in maybe you know five years, a decade, some of this checkering is going to begin to kind of wear off and rub off. And uh, you're going to have to come up with some sort of way to you know duct tape that or something to give you a little extra traction. It is full tang. Got a lanyard hole, nice and big. You get paracord through there. No lethal, I mean non-lethal pounding. You know, you're not going to be able to nail in tent, tent pegs or something like that with this particular knife or, you know, hit someone in the temple. You could maybe do, but, you know, it's just not really designed with a good pommel on the back. It's just boom, there it is, nice and round right there. So the overall blade, if you like Tantos, I would recommend it. Uh, you know, it's not not uh, anything fancy, just very basic in design. But, uh, you know, this de design, Samurai designed, you know, a thousand years ago and it's been around ever since. So for slicing, you know, in a, ha you, know, whoosh, you know, combat situation, penetrating, stabbing, it's going to work really well with this SOG Tsunami. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about the sheath. Now, with, what this comes with is the exact same sheath that a SOG Seal Pup would come with, nylon with the pocket on the front, molly on the back, belt loop, except for the SOG Seal Pup versions come with a button lash to keep the around the handle to keep the handle from falling out and the knife from falling out. The, the Tsunami version comes with Velcro, which is a real letdown because it basically doesn't do anything for retention. So I basically threw that away. I mean, I sold it, but I, I had no desire to keep that particular sheath at all when I purchased the Tsunami. So I actually made a Kydex sheath by myself. This is my very first Kydex sheath. I'm not going to go into big detail. I'll do a whole video on it as I get better. But uh, I, I decided to make a Kydex sheath for this particular SOG Tsunami and this thing works great. Clicks in and out really nice. And we'll talk about that. I'll do a whole separate video on Kydex sheaths and making them in the future. But my recommendation to you, if you are buying this, you aren't going to actually run and gun with it. You know, put it on your tactical vest. You know, you're using this for self defense, or you are going to take it in the woods to really invest in. If you're buying this knife, you need to invest in some sort of other sheath because the sheath is borderline bogus. I mean, it's really, really bad. Um, it's only going to be good if you wear it on your hip, and even then the Velcro is going to wear out really quick and just not even worth it. There are some uh, online sources that you can get Kydex sheaths made for it, uh, or there are aftermarket ki uh, nylon sheaths that you can purchase as well for about you know between 20 and 30 bucks. But the stock sheath that this Tsunami comes in is not really worth it at all. So overall thoughts, definitely a tactical blade. Nice and thin, going to stab, penetrate. Great fighting knife if you're looking for a Tanto fighting knife. The SOG Tsunami, grab them while you can before they get completely gone because they are discontinued as of 2013. So thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and I will see you out there.